someone who would be interested in signing a petition to close the Genon plant. If you're familiar with that big power plant on the Delaware with the stacks? Yes, I am. Okay, when they burn coal, we get the ash and it's dumped up there. And now the stream that runs through town that has high levels of heavy metals in it. So we have this petition, which we give to our legislators about closing the plant. The Reliant Coal Burning Plant, which is now called Gen On since its recent sale, has been a source of contention. It's a very old plant. Directly across the Delaware River is Warren County, and Warren County has the highest national average of asthma for children. The uh, area is non-attainment for both sulfur dioxide and ozone. So being downwind of the Genon plant means all the residents of Warren County, New Jersey, have to suffer the health consequences, and they have. I think there's no question that this plant needs to be shut down. It should have been shut down years ago. I moved to this area thinking that it would be a great place to raise a family, beautiful hills, fresh air, and we discovered that we were living next to a whole series of polluting facilities, one of which is the Genon plant. I had no idea when I moved to Bangor that we had the ash dump that was the companion to this plant's operation. When you become aware of a threat to your community, you can either pretend it doesn't exist, you can leave, or you can try to fight it. And we decided to try to fight this one. Dirty coal has got to go, hey, hey, ho, ho. Dirty coal has got to go. You know, the notion of big, powerful people taking advantage of less powerful people is offensive to me, particularly when it results in death and cancer and health issues. I live next to a coal dump and I breathe it, I see it every day. It makes me sick. I'm one of, of how many people in America and around the world who live within shouting distance of toxic facilities. I got involved with trying to address the pollution in the county about a year before our first child was born. As he grew older, we discovered that he had asthma. And you know, no one in either of our families, my wife or my family, has ever had asthma. And uh, it was quite a shock to us to discover that. And you know, painful to begin to think that, well, maybe there's a connection between this extraordinary amount of pollution that's documented to be in this beautiful county and the fact that your child has asthma. If, if ash is being dumped in your community, I think elected officials have a responsibility to find out exactly what the constituent base of that ash is. And if they had done their homework, I don't see how they could have allowed this to happen. To me, that's the biggest crime. You know, we, we expect corporations to act in the interest of making money. We sort of set that system up to work that way. You can argue the pros and cons of that. But we also have regulatory agencies whose job it is to regulate these things and to take actions to stop dangerous situations from happening. And where the system breaks down is when they don't do their job. It's so important that Greenpeace is here in Bangor. I think it gives the people in our community who are sick a real boost. And the presence here at one of the dirtiest coal plants in the United States is a message to the company. 
and to the future. The interests of a handful of powerful corporations has been making these decisions for our culture for far too long. So it's time to shut down these plants. You get so rooted in, well, well, it's been there for 50 years. Why are we trying to get rid of it? It's, it's part of the landscape. But we need to envision a landscape like the Delaware River Corridor that doesn't have smokestacks and doesn't have power lines. If you can envision that, then you can begin to make it happen. If I'm Genon, I should be developing alternative sources of energy. Any successful, forward-thinking company should have been beyond this years ago. So I would encourage them, join us in what is undeniably the future of energy. At some point, the human race has got to decide, are we, are we committed to corporate profit at the expense of our health and our community's livelihood and our ecosystem, which is the foundation for everything? Or are we committed to a, a future where hopefully the natural species on this planet, which includes children, uh, will be able to carry on and flourish?